Today's ICD-10 quick coding tip focuses on how to use excludes to instructional notes. My name is Claire and I'm an inpatient coding auditor. In my coding tips and tricks videos, you'll discover valuable insights to help sharpen your medical coding skills and code with confidence. ICD-10 provides two types of excludes notes, type one and type two. This video is all about type two notes, However, if you'd like to learn more about Type 1 Excludes Notes, check out my video linked below. Excludes 2 notes are found in the tabular list and indicate that the excluded condition is not included in the condition represented by the code. Excludes 2 notes help us to understand when certain conditions are not included in the code that we are referencing, and they let us know that it's possible for patients to have both the condition that we are referencing and the condition in the Excludes 2 note at the same time. So to ensure accurate coding, be sure to keep an eye out for these notes in the tabular list. For example, let's consider a scenario where a patient is diagnosed with chronic bilateral subsegmental pulmonary emboli, or PEs. Looking in the coding index under embolism pulmonary, we can see that there are subentries for both chronic PEs and multiple subsegmental PEs. Each are assigned to a different code. So which one do we use? To figure this out, let's take a look at both codes in the tabular. Starting with the code found in the index for multiple subsegmental PEs without core pulmonale, I2694, we can see that for this category, category I26 pulmonary embolism, there is an excludes 2 note and that chronic pulmonary embolism is an excludes 2 condition for all of the types of pulmonary embolisms found in the category. This excludes two note lets us know that both codes are needed to fully describe the patient's condition and that it is acceptable to use both codes when the documentation supports it. So that's it for today's quick tip. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I release new content. If there's any topics that you would like me to cover in the future, just leave a comment below and I'll add them to my list. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy coding!